I'm not sure if that's ducks trying to do an impression of a motorbike or a frog trying to do an impression of a motorbike. Anyway, this is the, uh, the soak that fills up from the main dam and the rain. And when it overflows, it flows through this here. They're still going for it. Anyway. And uh, it flows into this area here, which eventually flows into Chapman Brook. And this area just floods out. It's a bit of a mess, to be honest with you. It was. You can see the hole there, and it gushes out. Um, yeah, not the best design, really. Gushes out straight into this bank. So I put a load of rocks there last season because it was really washing it out. So it goes over these rocks, and then I've dug out most of the uh, stuff underneath. But these black rocks are already here. All the other rocks I've moved here myself. Uh, there's uh, over five ton of rock in here. I must have shifted uh, five, six meters of dirt easily. All by hand, because I can't get a machine in here. Anyway, so um, my theory is to try and stop the momentum of the water. Yeah. As it gushes out of there, it comes out at a fair old rate. Um, so it hits this hole, which is my break. It's then going to trip over this log and some rocks, so it uh, loses its momentum. I'm hoping that's the theory. I need to put some more rocks in there. Uh, I've, I've dug this out down to a nice clay level, which is good. So this hopefully will act as my filter. So most of the sediment will, hopefully from there anyway, will uh, build up in front of this, and I can dig it out easily each season. Um, now the all that there I've had to fill in and dig in with the uh, rocks and dirt. The bank originally went up to the uh, the trees. It was washed out that far. So I filled all that in. And uh, it's a nice access point too. I've called this the paddling pond um, because it will have water in it after everything else. And then it goes uphill at the end. So this bit is, is, is hopefully strong enough to uh, not be washed out by the water. But you know, it might all get washed out the first time it goes through. So uh, my theory is that the water goes up this hill. Yeah, I know it's a hill, um, but it gathers speed. And so hopefully it will take out any silt that's gathered in the paddling pool across the rocks there, because I think the rocks look pretty. Not that they really do anything. I mean, they trap some of the silt, but they don't really do anything to be honest. <coughs> um, yeah, more build up there of uh, rocks for the bend. I've actually leveled it downwards too to try and steer the water down. Um, and this is quite cute because you can walk all the way across here. See, see? Yeah, uh, marvellous stuff. Right, so I've uh, put extra large rocks in here because I want the water to drop down again because it'll sound nice. So it drops down into that little hole. I've already started planting green stuff. I transplanted stuff from you know various areas. Um, or, yeah, they're natural stuff. Um, what's the word? Oh, yeah. Um, and then more rocks on the edge of this to stop it from disappearing with the water. I've already found a few kunaks, so um, yeah, they burrow into the ground. So. There's a few of those around, so I'm trying to build habitats for them as well. So there's lots of rocks and things for those. Um, then the water comes out here, of course. So I put the, uh, the stuff here to protect the bank. I've been pushing um, all the dirt up to the bank. Now the bank went to that tree there. That's how far back it was. These trees were sort of halfway off the bank. You can see it's all eroded away with the water. Um, so I had to dig all this out. And I've tried to sort of flatten the dirt down a bit so it doesn't look so obscene. And uh, I realised that the worst thing with this is the fact that if, if it doesn't have a good exit, then everything was in vain. Um, I did this cute little thing here. I think it's cute. Because I wanted to create a little pond area. You know, let's call it the nursery for uh, the likes of the Kunak. So I've already planted a load of stuff in there. I've got to put a lot more rocks in it. Um, yeah, 
I've got to put a lot more rocks everywhere. Actually. Anyway, and then I, I figured it would need an overflow, so I've oh man, I've dug a trench down there. This is another little trip because it'll make a, a feature, won't it? Be a little waterfall-y thing. Now it's not very deep because it goes to gravel right there. It's, it's a bit of a pain actually. Some of the stuff's really easy to dig, but when it gets to the gravel, you, you might as well be digging concrete. Um, I want you to add a little bit of a, a, a dip in here because uh, there was that big log there, so I had to dig under the log. I couldn't pull the, the tree out. So I thought I'll put a dip in it so that uh, there's another little pool there. See, a little feature. Ah, and then this section, oh, this is murderous, murderous, it really is. So there's a tree going through there, which is a little bit annoying. I didn't want that. Would have been nice to have dug that out, but never mind. And this area I'm going to make into a bit of a pond. Because uh, it drains from there as well, from the paddock. And that's the... Um, the line I cut out to go into the nursery pond. And I've found so many little frogs. I'm not sure if there's the uh, the rare white-bellied frog in here, but um, it's, it's meant to be in the area. But I've seen lots of uh, cute frogs anyway. There is a white one, but uh, I don't know if it's a white-bellied frog. Anyway, I figured it would uh, be a good habitat for them too. Yeah, had I known how much there was to do, I don't know if I would have started, to be honest. Because uh, I've got to there. I don't know. How far is that? I don't know. 20 metres? And uh, I've got to go up here. how far along here I'm going to go to be honest with you I mean there is an insane amount of digging to get this far so I don't know I really don't know thankfully the ground here is a little bit lower so I'm hoping I can get away with digging not as far as this because you know it might be relatively easy to dig but you've still got to lift a lot of dirt and man you know it's good exercise. Blimey, I must burn 2,000 calories easy. Usually down here for about four hours at a time. Oh man. Yes, yeah, so that's a long way. Anyway, so let's, let's have a, a guesstimate of the measure. You can measure it yourself now then. There you go. Mind your head. <laughs> it's a lot of digging. <laughs> I mean, look how much dirt's there. <laughs> I've flattened it out. I like this bit, I think it's really nice. Look at all that dirt. Cute, eh? I think it's cute as long as I don't fall off. So I've kept uh, the trees as well because I want them to bloody grow. See, all this this bank was up here. Oh, there's me a uh, broken shovel, broken one shovel, worn out a pair of rigger gloves. See, you can uh, you can walk down these bits. You see, I've designed it so you can walk everywhere. Just hoping it doesn't get washed out first time. It floods because it really does flood through there. It, it comes out at a fair old rate. That's why the walls are so high there, because it really is. Um, they're pretty awesome, to be honest with you. So I'm hoping that that is deep enough so it won't go 
on this bit, I'm hoping. Hoping that's deep enough, but I don't know. It might come onto this bit anyway, but yeah, it's not a big deal, as long as you don't wash it out. And then I've uh, created this picnic area here, and I've got this crazy idea. <laughs> See, we can have seats. Yeah, so I've got this idea to um, mix up some gravel, because this is basically, these rocks are made out of um, gravel. So, there's some nice seats, I like this one. I like to be the old, uh, almost soft, you see. Um, yeah, so uh, I wanted to mix up some gravel we got on site, because all these rocks are from so on site, and mix it up with some cement, put a metal ring or metal band around this, and put a layer of concrete on the top, basically. So that the tables are flat. Otherwise, you can't put a drink on it. And so these are the seats. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was moving yesterday. And I was going to put a gravel bed down here and pack underneath these rocks. Pack underneath the rocks here. Just in case anyone's so heavy that they move them, but um, <laughs> you won't move them. E even these small ones, you know, they probably weigh 80 kilos. <clears throat> yeah, probably weigh about 80 kilos. They're quite heavy. Yeah, so there you go. That's uh, that's it. Um, don't know if I can turn it around, can I? Right. Anyway, all right. Catch you later.